My name is Miss Emily, and I'm going to show you how to do a fun, simple science experiment that you can do right at home. We're going to make a hovercraft, and a hovercraft is a vehicle that floats on a surface on a cushion of air. And we're going to make it with materials you might be able to find right at home. Here's what you'll need. You're going to need a balloon, a pop-top cap, maybe from a sports drink, a water bottle, or maybe some soap an old CD, markers if you want to decorate that CD, and a hot glue gun. So I am going to color my CD, but before I do that, I'm going to make sure that my hot glue gun is plugged in so it can heat up. But of course, for my friends at home, you're going to ask a trusted adult or an older sibling to help you out because this gets very hot and needs to be handed by someone older. Now that my CD is nice and decorated, we're gonna add our cap to the base of our CD right in the middle. I'm gonna use hot glue for that. If you don't have hot glue at home, that's okay. Try to use maybe duct tape, but make sure that it is really secure all the way around the edge because we don't want any leaks. Even with our hot glue, we want all the air that's gonna be coming through our water bottle cap to be pushed down below the hovercraft to make that air cushion. So I am going to very carefully Put some hot glue around the edge of my water bottle lid. And I'm gonna place it right in the center of my CD. I'm gonna hold it there for a few seconds and push it down, make sure it's nice and tight. All right, now for our source of air, the balloon. You're gonna blow up the balloon, not too small, not too big and make sure to hold it really tight to make sure that no air comes out once you're done. All right, I'm holding it tight and I'm gonna do my best to get it nice and far down onto my bottle cap. It might take a few tries. Once you've got it, go ahead and push it down to make sure it's nice and secure on the cap. Now, before we see what happens, let me tell you how it's gonna work. The pressurized air from the balloon is gonna push down once we release this cap, and it's going to reduce the friction between the table and the hovercraft base, our CD, and that's gonna create that air cushion. So all we have to do is pop the cap and let the air flow. Wasn't that pretty cool? But if your balloon deflated pretty quickly like mine did, we can do something about that. We can control the airflow. You're gonna find some tape in your house. This was all I could find. That was the first thing I found, and, but it's kind of fun, kind of like the CD. So we're gonna take the tape and we are gonna tape shut over that hole on the back of our CD. Tape right over it. And then you're gonna take either like a, t a small tack like this, or anything small and sharp, and we're gonna poke little tiny holes in our tape over the hole from, um, from our water bottle in our CD. So doing this, we're gonna control the airflow. So let's try it again and see what's the difference. One of my favorite things about science experiments is that you can learn what works, what doesn't work, and you learn so much about the process, like I did. I blew my balloon up again and it's ready to go. There are so many possibilities of what you could do with this. You could make just one, you could have your friends over and you can all make one, you could have them race, you could play a little air hockey. A fun experiment to try would be testing it on different surfaces. I'm here on a smooth, flat surface, but I wonder what the difference would be if I was on a hardwood floor or maybe carpet or the asphalt outside. 
predict what you think might happen, and then test the different surfaces. I'm so excited to see what you guys create. If you make a hovercraft, post a picture or a video on our Facebook page in the comments on this video. Have so much fun. Thanks for doing this experiment with me.